The Battle of Visby was fought in 1361 near the town of Visby on the island of Gotland, between the forces of the Danish king and the Gutnish country yeoman. The Danish force was victorious. Background On the 22nd of July 1361, King Valdemar IV of Denmark sent an army ashore on Gotland's west coast. The Gutters of Gotland paid taxes to the King of Sweden, though the population of Isby was diverse and included Russians, Danes and Germans. In 1280, the city of Isby had joined the Wendish City Alliance along with Riga, Lübeck, Tallinn and other large population centres from northern Europe, further separating Visby from the Gutnish countryside. Antagonism between city dwellers and the Gutnish country yeomen heightened, and the latter were defeated in battle in 1288 despite the aid of knights from Estonia. Forces. It is unknown who commanded the Gutnish army. However, he was probably a minor noble of some standing, probably with military experience. The Danish army was composed mainly of Danish and German troops, many mercenaries from the Baltic coast of Germany, with recent experience in the various feuds and wars between the German and Scandinavian states. They were led by Valdemar IV of Denmark. Against him was an army of Guttus, mainly freemen and minor nobles. The ordinary freemen appear to have worn more limited but still effective protection, with many skeletons being excavated wearing a chainmail shirt or a coat of plates to protect the torso. Some warriors may have worn a padded gambeson or a leather jerkin or coat, though these would not have survived the decomposition in the ground after the battle. Unusually, many appear to have not had protection for their head, with many skulls wearing only a male coif for protection, though any helmets may have been stripped from the bodies after the battle. No weapons have been discovered, but it is likely that both sides used round and heater-type shields, spears, axes, bill hooks, pikes and pole axes. For close combat both sides would have had swords, light axes, war hammers and maces. Battle. The Danish troops moved towards Visby. The first day of the invasion, two minor skirmishes were fought on marshy ground between yeoman farmers and the army. The next day, from 800 to 1,000 farmers were killed after massing for battle at Master B near F. Jale Maya. On 27 July a Gutnish yeoman army fought the Danes just outside the city walls, and was severely beaten, with an estimated death toll of about 1,800 yeomen and peasantry killed, while the Danish casualties remain unknown. Only a couple of items that can be linked with Danish soldiers have been found, including a person and ornamented armor belonging to a member of the Rordar family from Friesland. Casualties can be compared with those that the French suffered at the Battle of Poitiers in 1356 and should be seen as high by medieval standards. Aftermath Following the devastating battle, the citizens of Isby decided to surrender to avoid further losses. To save the city from sacking, the inhabitants paid a large amount of their wealth to King Valdemar. This extortion of contributions became a legendary event, although it cannot be confirmed to have taken place, and, if so, the full details are still unclear. Despite the payment, the Danes still plundered several of the town's churches and monasteries. King Valdemar appointed sheriffs to govern Visby and then set sail again. It would take another year before Valdemar officially added King of Gotland to his many titles. When Albert, King of Sweden took the Swedish crown he claimed Gotland as part of his domains and held the island at least until 1369, thus the Danish presence. There couldn't have been strong, as it so rapidly and easily returned to the Swedish crown. The island would be disputed over by the House of Mecklenburg and the Danish crown until 1376 when Queen Margaret officially claimed the island for Denmark. King Albert was defeated in a civil war in 1389, in which Queen Margaret supported the rebels, and he was forced to abdicate. However, he was granted Gotland and its capital, Visby, where he remained with her pirate organization called the Little Brothers. 
It was not until 1408 that the last remains of the House of Mecklenburg and the above-mentioned pirates were driven out for good. Archaeological excavation Graves have been excavated in modern times to bring clarification in the events. The first archaeological excavations were done in 1905, led by Oscar Wilhelm Wenerstein and master builder Nils Pettersen at the place now known as Korsbetningen in Visby, where the first mass grave from the battle was found. The excavation also revealed the location of the Solberger Abbey. It showed that at least a third of the Gotlandic army consisted of miners and elderly. Many of the dead defenders were, unusually, buried in their armor. According to historian John Keegan, dot hot weather and the great number defeated the efforts of the victors to strip them. Before decomposition began, the site of the excavation yielded one of the most fearsome revelations of a medieval battle known to archaeologists. Five mass graves were located outside the city's walls. Medieval Week on Gotland Every year during the medieval week on Gotland a historical reenactment of King Valdemar IV of Denmark's entrance and ransoming of Isby is staged it, the historical site. Since 2011, the Battle of Visby itself is reenacted outside the Visby city wall with participants from historical societies from several European countries and the United States.